So I'm gonna walk you through how you can become a public figure on Instagram. It has absolutely nothing to do with um, your following or your engagement or your celebrity status. It actually has everything to do with your Facebook page. So you have to have a Facebook page linked. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions about this recently, so I figured I'd make a post and just give you guys a quick walkthrough video. It literally takes less than five minutes and you um, look that much more professional on Instagram. So I'll take you to my phone. Okay, so when I talk about becoming a public figure on Instagram, I'm talking about um, that little name slogan under my name, Nicole Stone, where it says public figure. It makes me look like I'm like a celebrity. So that's what I'm talking about when I'm telling you that um, I'm getting asked a lot of questions about it, how to get it. I just want to let, um, reiterate, like it has nothing to do with your followers. It has nothing to do with your engagement rate. It has everything to do with your Facebook page. So if you don't have a Facebook page, you have to get ready to make one because that is what this is. One of the other big benefits I wanted to mention is the ability to get analytics. Um, so analytics are these little lines up here and that pretty much will tell you everything you want to know about your posts, which posts are performing the best, which posts are um, performing the worst, your type of audience, the age range of your audience, how you're doing each week with impressions and which with followers. Um, so for example, I'll hit followers. And by looking at this, these charts right here, I mean, my target audience is apparently 78% men because I'm in an outdoor niche and it's very popular. So I can find the posts that um, engages them the most. So it might be me holding on to a big fish, uh, but that's what Instagram analytics will show you. Um, it also tells you the age ranges, um, how many followers you're gaining, which is something nice because once you break 10,000, you don't actually get to see the number unless you go into analytics. So to go back, we will go back and um, I'll show you exactly how you want to set that up. So you're gonna have to go to Facebook first. I'll back up here to the home page. So when you get to Facebook, you'll do these three lines to get into settings. You'll run down to this yellow flag that says pages, hit that. Then there'll be create new page. And you can see I have tested this. I have three test pages. Um, so hit create page, get started, name your page. We'll be test four this time, I suppose. Um, and then you'll hit next. And then this is where you actually get to pick what you wanna be. So I'm considered a public figure. It makes me look um, like a celebrity, even though I'm not, but it does tend to increase your engagement rate when you do this. It helps you get followers. People think you're a big deal. And then when they see that you're a public figure, they follow you. So it's a good marketing strategy. And I recommend you doing it for that reason as well. So you go to choose category. You can see there's numerous categories you can pick from. For this particular one that I'm doing, I'm going to hit people because within that one, um, I can become a public figure. So you'll see that there's entrepreneur, fashion model, fitness model, literally whatever you want to be. Um, scientist, but like I said, for me and what a lot of people in my niche on Instagram are doing, it's a called public figure. So I'm gonna hit done and I'm gonna go to next. And then you'd add your website if you want to actually make a page, which I don't. So we're going to skip that. Um, going to skip all of this actually. So I have this page uh, that will be deleted when I'm done with this example. And from there you go back to Instagram. So you're going to go to Instagram and you're going to go um, to your profile. So I'm back to my profile. You're going to hit the settings button. So when you hit the settings button, then what you want to do is scroll down to where it's going to say business account. So right, my, right now mine says switch back to personal account. I'm not going to show you that. I'm not going to do that because I do have a second profile I use just for stuff like this. Um, so this is just kind of my demo profile and I'll show you exactly what you do here. So you go to the settings, then you go down to your tab in settings that says switch to business profile. You're going to hit that. You're going to hit continue. Just talks to you why you want a business profile. You're going to log in with Facebook. So you're going to pick your page um, and you're going to enter an email. We're just going to throw in one of my um, demo emails for the sake of this demo. Hit done. And just like that, I have literally zero followers on this account, but I'm a public figure. And guess what I get? Analytics. So that's it. That's all you have to do. It's that simple. Um, I've been getting lots of questions about how some people have it. Some people don't. But it's literally just 
uh, setting up a Facebook page and linking the two accounts. So I'm hoping this helps you guys so you're on the same page as I am with this so you can jump in on this big fad of being Insta famous. Just change your Facebook page, add it to your Instagram account just like I showed you and just like that you'll actually probably notice a bump in followers. So let me know how it works for you um, and keep following.